Hello. Now, this question requires us to find the possible values of x. The question is, how are we going to obtain them? It is simple. We are going to first express 125 exponent x in terms of 5 exponent x. And 125 can be written as 5 cubed. And 125 exponent x, this is equal to 5 cubed exponent x. From indices, 5 cubed exponent x, this can be written as 5 exponent x, then cubed. Is that okay? We just switch the what? The exponents. And we are going to substitute 5 exponent x chubbed in original equation. That is 5 exponent x chubbed plus 5 exponent x minus 30. Everything is going to be equated to a 0. We are going to let y to be equal to 5 exponent x. And we shall rewrite the equation as y chubbed plus y minus 30. Everything is equated to a 0. Now, I can write this same equation as y chubbed minus 9y plus 10y minus 30. Everything is going to be equal to a zero simply because if I get negative 9y plus 10y I'll go back to y and I'm going to create two brackets such that I can factor and obtain the possible values of y in the first bracket I have the common factor as a y so I'll pull it outside I'll remain with y squared minus a 9 then plus in this bracket we have a 10 as the common factor so i'll factor it out and i have 10 into in the bracket i'll remain with y minus a 3 and everything is equated to a 0. when i look at this bracket we have y squared minus a 9 but don't forget that 9 is 3 what squared Therefore, this is a bracket of difference of two squares, and I can rewrite it as y into y minus 3, then y plus 3, plus a 10 into y minus 3, everything is equal to a 0. When we try to observe these two terms, we realize that a bracket of y minus 3 is common throughout these two terms therefore we shall factor it out and we shall have y minus 3 then y into y plus 3 then plus 10 everything is equated to a 0 so we shall have y minus 3 into y squared plus 3y plus 10 is equal to a 0. What does that mean? y minus 3 is equal to 0 is the first factor. Therefore, y1 is equal to a 3. Don't forget that we said y is equal to 5 exponent what? x. Is that okay? Therefore, we shall say 5 exponent x is equal to a 3. We want to obtain the values of what? x. Meaning that we shall introduce log to base 10 and obtain the value of x. So that is log 5 exponent x to base 10 is equal to log 3 to base what? 10. From logarithms, I can drop this x there is that okay and we shall have x logarithm of 5 base 10 is equal to logarithm of 3 base what 10 
we need to obtain the value of x therefore we shall divide both sides by logarithm of 5 to base 10 on both the sides this one can cancel with that and we shall remain with x1 is equal to what is logarithm of 3 to base 10 place your calculators Mm -hmm. That is 0 0.4771 to four decimal points. Divide by what is logarithm of 5 to base 10. That is 0 0.6990 to four decimal points. Is that okay? Therefore, x1 is equal to. 0 0.4771 divided by 0 0.6990 and the final answer is 0 0.6825 is that okay so we start we shall save it x1 is equal to 0 0.6825 is that okay good now we need to obtain other values of x is that okay but don't forget that we had y squared plus 3y plus 10 is equal to a zero is that okay and this is a quadratic equation meaning that we are going to use the quadratic formula to find other possible values of x Clear? Now, y is equal to negative b plus or minus root of b squared minus 4ac out of a 2a. a is 1, which is the coefficient on y squared. b is 3, the coefficient on y. And then c is 10, which is the constant in the quadratic e equation and therefore y is going to be equal to negative 3 plus or minus root of 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10 everything divided by the 2 a so y is equal to negative 3 out of 2 plus or minus root of 9 minus a 40 out of a 2 clear so y is equal to negative 3 out of 2 plus or minus square root of negative 31 out of a 2 let us first deal with square root of negative 31 is that okay so this is the same way saying square root of negative 1 times 31 and from sads if i have a times b and a root this can be written as sad of a times sad of b therefore for this case this is equal to square root of negative 1 times square root of what 31 and don't forget that square root of negative 1 is equal to an imaginary what number therefore this is i root 30 what 31 So y will be y is equal to negative 3 out of 2 plus or minus i root of 31 out of a 2. And y is a complex number. Is that okay? Because we have the real part as negative 3 out of 2 and the imaginary part as root 31 out of a 2. Therefore, we have to sketch our complex numbers and we find where which region where they belong is that okay so we shall say y2 
is equal to negative 3 out of 2. Let us first take the positive sign i root 31 out of the 2. Let us sketch the complex number and we determine the region where it lies. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the real part of y2 and this is the imaginary part of y2. And the real part, remember we said that it is negative 3 out of 2 and the imaginary part is root 31 out of a 2. Now, our complex number will be found there. Is that okay? And we need to establish the modulus and the argument that is our modulus of the complex number and we need to obtain the argument and the argument of the complex number starts from the positive real axis up to the line joining the origin to the complex C number therefore that is our argument theta is that okay and we are going to use this angle alpha to obtain this argument. Is that okay? Don't forget that alpha is equal to tan inverse of root 31 out of a 2. Then we divide by 3 out of a 2. We divide we divide by 3 out of 2 positive simply because this negative was trying to tell us that the complex number is in the second quadrant. Is that okay? This negative just gave us the what? The direction. And alpha is equal to what is actan of root th 31 out of 2 divided by 3 out of 2. Place your calculators, please, and you get for me the answer. Uh -huh. The answer is 61.683 watt, 35 degrees. And this is alpha. Remember, we need to obtain a theta, which is the principal argument. Is that okay? And that argument is going to be obtained from um, theta is going to be equal to 180 degrees minus alpha. Is that okay? So theta is equal to 180 degrees minus 61.683 five degrees so theta is equal to one one eight point three one six five degrees remember we need the theta in radians is that okay and that is one one eight point three one six five divided by one eighteen we are converting from degrees to radians, then we multiply with a pi. And that is theta in radians is equal to 0 0.65731 in pi radians. Is that okay? Now, we have the modulus Sorry, we have the argument, we need the modulus. And the modulus R is equal to square root of negative 3 out of 2 squared plus square root of 31 out of 2, everything squared. And the R is equal to square root of 9 out of 4 plus 31 out of a 4. So that is the LCM is 4. Um, we shall have 9 plus 31, that is 40. 40 out of 4, that is R is equal to root 10. And these are units. Is that okay? 
and y2 is going to be equal to square root of 10 then exponent of 0 0.65731 pi and the i is that okay but don't forget we said that y is equal to 5 exponent x is that okay we said that y is equal to 5 exponent x therefore 5 exponent x is equal to root of 10 exponent 0 0.6573 pi i we want the second value of x therefore we shall introduce a log to base e that okay which is a natural logarithm that is lean of 5 exponent x is equal to natural log of root 10 then exponent of 0 0.6573 pi then i is that okay don't forget that i can drop x down and if i have natural log of a multiplied with a b this is equal to natural log of a plus natural log of b is that okay and also natural log of exponent to power one is that okay sorry natural log of e where e is a natural number to power a this can be written as a i'm repeating natural log of a natural number e exponent a this is equal to a and in our question we shall have x lean of 5 this is equal to natural log of square root of 10 plus natural log of exponent of 0 0.6573 pi i is that okay so we shall have uh, this is x natural log of 5 is equal to natural log of root of 10 plus 0 0.6573 pi i we want to get x2 therefore we shall divide by natural log of 5 on both sides and x2 will be equal to plus your calculators please Mm -hmm. This is 0 0.7153, then plus, mm -hmm. that is 1.2833. Then imaginary number therefore x2 is going to be equal to 0 0.7153 plus 0. Point, sorry it is 1.2830 i we need to get other values or other value of y is that okay So we shall repeat the procedures and obtain other possible value of y. Uh, so we shall say y3 is equal to negative 3 out of 2, then minus i root 31 out of a 2. Is that okay? So we sketch the complex number. Mm -hmm. this is real part of y3 and this is imaginary part of y3 the real part is negative and the imaginary part is also negative is that okay 
so we shall plot and that is our complexing number remember we need to get the modulus and the argument so this is the modulus from that point up to where we find our complex number and we said that the argument is the angle from the positive real axis up to that line and this is our theta and we have alpha there is that okay so don't forget that in the previous complex number y2 we obtained the alpha as mm -hmm, alpha was equal to yes tan inverse of root 31 out of 2 divided by 3 out of 2 remember we said that these negatives tell us the direction or the quadrant where the complex number y3 is lying is that okay and if y3 is lying in the second sorry the third quadrant is that okay y2 was lying in the first in the second quadrant and y3 is lying in the third quadrant and alpha is equal to get for me the answer mm -hmm. that is 61.6835 in degrees is that okay but don't forget that we want theta and the theta is equal to uh, this is negative because this angle is supposed to be negative 180 degrees minus 61.6835 degrees i'm placing here negative because clockwise angles are always what negative anti-clockwise are always positive and the clockwise are negative therefore theta is equal to negative 118.3165 degrees we want theta in radians and that is negative 118.3165 divided by 118 then we multiply with a pi so theta in radians is equal to 0 0.6573 pi and this theta is in e radians which is our principal angle is that okay so we need to get the modulus and that is equal to square root of negative 3 out of 2 squared plus root 31 out of 2 squared is that okay so r is equal to square root of a 10 and y3 is equal to square root of 10 then exponent sorry this was negative negative 0 0.6573 then pi i is that okay we said earlier that y is equal to 5 exponent x therefore 5 exponent x is equal to square root of 10 exponent of 0 0.6573 pi i we introduce natural logarithms and we shall have x natural log of 5 is equal to natural log of root 10 then plus negative 0 0.6573 pi i is that okay therefore x3 is going to be equal to we divide by ln 5 on both sides
that is 0 0.7153 minus Mm -hmm. That is 1.2830i. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video for more about mathematics. Meet you in the second video.